What is up guys? How's everyone doing? I hope you're doing okay. Uh, even though we're in some crazy times right now, I'm pretty much in like day maybe five or six of quarantine, meaning where everything is pretty much closed except for the driving range where I've spent most of my time. So I'm just out driving today because today is also really crappy weather. It's been bad weather here for, I don't know, past two, three days. So pretty much all I've done is go out driving. That's kind of like my peace of mind, which is currently what I'm doing right now. And uh, first little warning light on the new AMG has popped up here. So we got a battery light here. I don't know if that's regarding the actual battery or if it's something with the alternator. So I'm gonna look it up in the book here and see uh, what it says specifically for this car. <laughs> I usually seem to have issues with my C63s when it's pouring down rain. Some of you guys might remember. Yeah, so here's the thing. I think it's an alternator issue. And uh, what I'm gonna do is turn everything off here. And then I'm gonna drive home because I'm uh, not home right now. And uh, basically I wanna get home before the car dies on me. I don't wanna be dying out here in the middle of nowhere when it's pouring down rain. So as soon as we get home, if we make it home that is but hopefully we do i'm gonna verify that this is actually the alternator i think it is i'm pretty sure and then it will be my second car that pretty much gets an alternator failure uh right after i buy it and uh, my third uh, c63 that has an issue pretty uh soon after i buy it as well it's just so typical it usually happens like on a friday or a saturday when it's weekend uh and it's harder to reach shops and stuff and dealerships especially in Pennsylvania because, you know, Sundays they're not open, that kind of thing. Now we have this whole, you know, what virus pandemic going on and pretty much everything is closed down anyway. So we'll see um, how <laughs> serious this is and how quickly we're gonna be able to get it resolved. I mean, I always try to look on the bright side of things. I mean, I do have other cars to drive. It just sucks that it's this one now. Cause this is the one I want to drive like all the time all right so good news we made it home thank god man because I didn't want to get stranded on the middle of the road especially when it's raining and it's freaking coronavirus pandemics and crap going on what I did do though was call the GM at Barbie rail and Mercedes where I bought all my other Benzes except for this one they uh, are not open at the moment but uh, he said if you come and drop the car off over the weekend, we'll take care of it on Monday. Because if I were to turn the car off now and just leave it here in the driveway, it most likely would not start after a while. Because, I, I mean, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that this is an alternator belt issue. And then it's not charging the battery and so on. So I'm waiting for my wife to come here. And we're actually going to drive the oh, 25 miles or whatever it is to that dealership. And uh, she's gonna have to follow me because we have to drop the car off. And if the car were to die during the time that we're driving there, at least she'll be there. I can jump in the truck. There she is. My saving grace in the reliable old Ford. Yeah. Hey, babe, how's it going back there? I'm right behind you. <laughs> I know. Hey, we only have like halfway left or something like that. So hopefully the car doesn't die on the way there. What does it feel like? No, it doesn't feel anything weird. It's just that the battery is not charging. So the car could technically die. That's what the alternator does. We just need to get it to the dealership and drop it off and then we'll be fine. Yeah, okay. All right, honey, thanks for uh, tagging along here. Sure, honey. See, I had to call my wife and she was right in the middle of helping one of her friends and then she had to leave because uh, one of my cars are like breaking <laughs> once again. So I, I know she, I mean, she's not mad or anything, but she's not overly ecstatically happy either. Her Raptor looking good back there though. So 20 miles later, we've made it to Wexford at least without the car dying. So now we only have like, I don't know, four or five miles or something left. I think we're gonna make it, fellas. <laughs> I think we're gonna make it. Oh, come on, honey, make the red light. What are you doing back there? Hurry up. <laughs> we made it, we made it. <laughs> home sweet home. Service department at Bobby Ray Hall, Mercedes. So when the similar thing happened in the Ferrari, I could actually hear the belt snap. Uh, nothing like that has happened 
hear. I mean, I definitely didn't hear anything and I can't see anything either. So I'm just grateful that we actually made it here. I mean, the sun's even peeking out right now. It's fantastic. You gotta stay positive, man. So I'm just gonna drop the car off and then, uh, yeah, they're gonna have to look at it on Monday. What I could have done when we were at home in the driveway is check the voltage of the battery, but I forgot about that. I don't know how low it is currently, but yeah, it is what it is. All right, so before we leave, I'm gonna get back in the car because I've turned it off. I'm gonna turn it back on. And then we're gonna see if this light. So this replaced key battery light's been on like since I bought the car. Now the battery <laughs> light is gone. What the? So I don't know why the alternator light would pop up if there wasn't an issue with the alternator. But there probably is anyhow, so I'm gonna leave it here and have them look at it on Monday, hopefully, if they're here. <laughs> Finicky car. I mean, I swear to God, it's because it was raining so much in these cars, at least when it comes to me and my ownership of AMGs. They're so finicky when it comes to water. And don't worry, it's not like I've hydrolocked the car again or anything like that, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. All right, so here we are in the Raptor. Wifey comes to the rescue, at least to pick me up. So we're just gonna go home. And by the way, I wanted to give a thanks to everyone that picked up merch on the new merch site. Uh, hats seem to be very popular. And then also the stickers. And then uh, number three and four is probably the hoodies and the sweatpants. So if you guys haven't checked it out yet, uh, go to shopautovlog.com. Maybe you'll find something you like. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. When we got back from Buffalo after buying the car, when I pulled it in the driveway, it was making this noise. And I don't really know what that is. I mean, I don't think it's alternator uh, related in any way. It sounds more like a cooling fan of some sort. I haven't heard it on a Mercedes before. So I don't know if somehow that has anything to do with anything. But uh, yeah, I, I did film a quick snippet of it because it was pretty loud noise. So I guess we'll find out next week. On a very positive note, though, look at that. 73 degrees out and the sun is peeking out. Get early spring this year. You love it, don't we, baby? Mm -hmm. All right, well, we're back home. What a nutty day. Uh, only two cars in the driveway currently. Ferrari uh, in the garage. We're gonna take the Ferrari out this weekend. And speaking of cars, this whole pandemic thing has actually messed up a lot of my plans. I was actually gonna buy another car. It's time for another hoopty. And I had one uh, picked out. I found one at a place here, but now this place is closed because of the pandemic so my plan wasn't even to make content with the AMG right now it was to make content with a new hoopty but uh, that's gonna have to wait so until then we're gonna jump in uh, the M5 here I haven't driven this in a while it's just been sitting so we need to get the juices flowing here in the V10 like I said it turned out to be a really nice day I mean, sun's out it's windy as heck but gotta go for a nice little drive here but I think that's gonna do it for today's video I know it's kind of short wasn't really planning on filming what we filmed today it just kind of happened. So yeah, I'm gonna go out for a little drive here. I hope you guys are doing great. And remember, be cautious, don't be afraid. All this stuff will pass. I know it completely sucks right now for the majority of people in the world, wherever you are watching. By the way, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know where you guys are from. Where are you watching from? What country? What's it like in your country currently? And then we'll stay in touch that way. I might do an Instagram live here tomorrow as well. So if you're not following me on Instagram yet, go ahead and do so. We can hang out, just sit and chat, whatever. Ask questions, whatever you guys want to do. So like I said, if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Give it a huge thumbs up. I mean, the video kind of sucked, to be honest. It wasn't a fun topic, but give it a thumbs up anyhow. <laughs> if you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Well, yeah, I mean, sorry. Got to get a V10 start up here. It definitely doesn't sound bad, that's for sure. And yeah, wait, wait, before we end today's video, I thought I'd mention this and I'll mention it real quick. It's just something that's kind of weird. If you guys follow the channel, you'll know that my passenger headlight, this is the you know aftermarket Morimoto, looks great and actually works real great when it's working as well. It's been out for like over two months and I didn't even know until some of you guys mentioned it from seeing the truck in videos. Check this out. <laughs> All of a sudden it's working again. I have no idea why. Is it because of the weather? I mean, today, this is a different day, by the way. 
the day after the last clip you guys saw it's a lot colder today doesn't have anything to do with that i figured it was something with moisture like water getting up underneath here you can see the cords hanging and stuff like that you know something like that cost it but i don't know the driver's side has been fine all along but now the passenger side decided to uh, start working again <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one car breaks in the video and then the other car sort of fixes itself, although it was a minor, minor issue. It's just a headlight. I actually have a new headlight that's arrived just to have it swapped out. But now this one's working, so I don't really know what to do. This might have been extremely boring information for you guys, but I thought I'd mention it anyhow. That's going to do it for today's video. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.